Max, you've had a very busy year and there's been a lot of activity at Quintain. Can you talk me through what's been going on? Well, it's been a good year this year. Three years ago, I set out to really focus the business on London. And this year, we're really seeing the benefits of that. So not only have we really seen traction and the speed of development um, taking place at Wembley, we've also been building our London portfolio, which has now reached around about 100 million pounds. So I feel that we've got a real balance to the business um, and we're seeing real progress at Wembley. You've just released your full year results. What are the highlights? So the highlights of this year's results really, I think, focus on a, a return to um, continued growth in profitability and we've also seen net assets of value increase. But below that, I think that the real takeaways are the uh, speed, the, the pace of sales of the residential um, at Wembley and really setting new price points. So we've moved those on from £575 a square foot last year to um, £660 a square foot. So, you know, real, real movement there. You've been particularly busy at Wembley Park. What's the progress there? Well, we've made great progress on two fronts. Um, with the commercial um, investment assets, there's been real traction now in the first year, the first full year of the LDO being open. And we're seeing the impact of the stadium, the arena, um, and the Hilton Hotel really now driving footfall. So we've seen over 5 million people in the first year visit the LDO, which is fantastic. Um, but I think the other, the other real, really important news is the speed and really the pace of sales that we're now seeing on our residential. So we are completing our first development at Emerald Gardens, which um, is bringing forward uh, both market sale and also private rental stock. Um, and because of the confidence we've had on that um, particular development, we're already actioning our second development called Alto, which will start construction in the next couple of months. So we're now seeing a real, a real volume of product which we're bringing to the market at very attractive prices. You've said you're undergoing public consultation about a new master plan for Wembley Park. Now that sounds very interesting. What more can you tell us? Well, on, on the back of the confidence that we've, uh, we've, we've created in our own minds uh, over the last year, year and a half, in terms of creating a sense of place at Wembley, but also now proving the residential proposition, uh, we've taken the decision to start work on the, um, the eastern side, predominantly, of the site. Um, now that we have the whole of the West really in, in action. And so the, the, the master plan will begin to bring really forward, I think, an incredibly new and exciting district around a seven acre park involving on that part of the site alone uh, 24 acres. So we're in early stages, public consultation beginning in the next couple of weeks, but you know, with, a, with the promise of a really, really exciting new master plan. And you've mentioned a better balance between development and income. What are you trying to achieve there? Well, if you, go, if you go back three or four years, I think Quintain was known as a developer. And we had significant land holdings, both at Wembley and Greenwich, um, Greenwich Peninsula. I think the challenge there is, you know, is that, is that the correct waiting for a public company? So over the last three years, we've really been shifting the, um, the proportion, buying and building investment assets. So now we're roughly half and half um, spread between our land holdings, which are either undeveloped or, or, or have the potential, and 50% in terms of our investment assets. And we can continue to see that, that balance um, really increasing in terms of the investment assets. So that we, I think we get a complementary balance between the two. You've announced you're opening your first PRS apartments next spring. Why are you doing that? We've um, got a, a real demand, which we, we already know about at Wembley Park because we've got an existing business there. So what we've wanted to do is to bring that forward and provide really good modern accommodation. So the 143 apartments, uh, we're under construction and they'll arrive next year. Um, and we've got another 120. But beyond that, we can see a real opportunity at Wembley Park because of its good transport and because of the quality of the accommodation we're bringing forward, that we can, we can create good, strong income streams, but actually now begin to provide apartments both for sale and also for rent, which I think is a really compelling proposition. Max James, thank you very much. Thank you.